I played it muted. Hi everybody. Still hate that missing two note. It gets <laughs> gets me every time. I don't know why I haven't changed it yet. You know. Get it changed. <laughs> Get it changed. Get it changed. Hey everybody, welcome to Rapper TV. You are Elgin. If it wants to extra tune for it, feel free. We need to do some tunes. Anybody out there who's a budding musician, tune maker, film, movie, music maker, and you want to help us with uh, changing our doom, 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 intro tune, then please get in touch at, uh, at ratmafilmfestival.com. You'll notice something's missing. Something is missing. Do you, have you noticed what's missing, LJ? It, it's really big and middle-aged. Uh, the Greg. The chatterbox. The Greg. The Greg is the missing. Greg. So it's just me and LJ today. So you're going to have to put up with us, okay? <laughs> but at least you might get some sense. Um, you will get to see a movie. We are going to show one of the films, one of the selected films um, today. Uh, more on that in a bit. But uh, yes, to, we, we, basically we are... Gregless and um, Marcus is uh, not here. He is uh, away with his sons trying on suits for an up and coming enga family engagement um, that he will be in taking part in. So uh, if you're watching, Marcus, you're not missed. Okay. So. <laughs> so, yeah. So. Hello, welcome to Ratma TV. And basically, what have we got for you today? Well, quite simply, we've got a bit of news for you. Um, we've got the launch of the new website. The new website has been launched. I'll give you a little look. Um, we'll give you a little look-see right here. Um, <clears throat> just do a quick share screen. So there you go. It's a new website, you can see. Uh, we've gone for a kind of movie film real theme okay uh, i haven't fixed it on tablets and mobile phones yet but it, it it it's working but you'll notice something that's very obvious here in blue across the top which is enter your film for the 10th ratman international film, film festival 2022 so we are open to take films we're now starting to take films what you'll also see after tomorrow is a little button saying enter our competition. More on that in a minute. But yes, we're open. We've taken films and we've already had some entries. One thing I'm going to do that I did a few years ago. Do you remember when I did the map? Yeah. The, the Google map and we pinned where people were entering their films from. And it, and it was, I will say it was quite good. It was It was quite interesting because we had like, this map with all these pins all over the world and everything and i linked the um the, the filmmakers information to each pin as well so we're going to do that again this year because we're hoping to get a lot more entries i'm just making work for myself <laughs> that's such a good idea like I enough already. so yeah we're, well, we are we're gonna we're gonna basically um we're going to do, uh, Marcus has just commented, I believe. Yeah. Uh, what did he say? Yeah. What's he say? Five minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> yeah. So, really, so, so like, like, you are? Let's quickly get rid of all stuff then. Yeah, let's get done. Let's just finish the show early. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, yeah, we're going to, we're going to basically, um, We've opened up, we are now taking films. So if you know any filmmakers or you are a filmmaker and you want to get your film in, remember, please remember that the, the, the only real rule we have is that the films have to be under 10 or 10 minutes or less. You'd be surprised. We get we get some blooming 30 minute films entered and I'm like, it's in massive letters. When you click enter your film, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not being funny. It says, look, look, please note that your film must be 10 minutes or less to be eligible for the festival. I can't make it any bigger because it'll take up the entire web page. 
you know? <laughs> so please, 10 minutes or less. That's all I ask, yeah? And give us as much information as you can, because then we can also then link back to you guys as well, um, which is obviously going to help the filmmakers get a little bit more reputation and a little bit notoriety and stuff. So, yeah, so we're open for films and looking forward to 2022. Uh, we'll, we'll have the 48 hour film challenge. This is like an entire news show, isn't it? I should put my news hat on. You know, <laughs> I should. Right. And now the news. I'm Walter Conrad. But we, we, it's like an entire, everything I'm telling you is just news, 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 news. It's all Ratman news. So yeah, we've got loads of plans. We've got loads and loads of plans. We're going to start doing a newsletter. Um, it's going to be monthly to start and probably pick it up a bit as we get closer, um, which is really quite a daunting thought because it, I mean, it's, just, it, it's literally a year away. Yeah. Um, which is quite scary. So what else <laughs> have we got? Now, I know she's not going to take credit because at the end of the day, she's uh, too modest. But uh, LJ came up with an idea about a year ago, actually, for um, a little competition that we're going to run, which is we want to name the rat. I'll show you the new logo in a minute. Yeah. We're going to name the rat. Right. So we've got our new new logo that LJ has done. OK. I'll show you the logo really quickly. She's done the new logo. It's very, very, very good, as you can see. Yeah, we got Flixie the taxi in there. We got uh, the rat, and we've got our Ratma ribbon and uh, the globe and all the rest of it, which is really cool. Yeah, although it does look like Flixie's trying, uh, the, the rat's trying to kill Flixie, and Flixie's <laughs> on the run. <laughs> There's a good animation. We could spin it. Couldn't we? Yeah. yeah. Um, Don't know how to do that. <laughs> I, 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 we, <laughs> I have no idea that we have to try and work out how to do. <laughs> so basically, yes, um, we've got our new logo, but we need a name for the rat. So tomorrow I'm going to add a little button where you'll be able to complete a form and send through your uh ideas of what we could call the rat we're going to do some mail marketing to get out there to say right okay we want to name the rat and we'd like to get the name the rat named before christmas i think because yeah. at the end of the day then we're gonna we've got ideas for what to do with said rat um who will potentially be having some adventures and stuff like that um that's 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 one of those ideas that's kind of sitting there at the moment in the back of my brain and <laughs> gnawing away at me but yeah so yes it's uh it's looking really good so we got a lot on and we got a lot to do and we need your help to basically get the word out there should we watch a movie yeah this is a really good movie right oh i tell you what Tell you what, right? We're gonna play this movie now, right? We are gonna do it. It's a really good film. It actually came in quite close to the top. But next week, next week I am going to play the um, the 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 uh, alien thriller film. Thriller. That's the word I was looking for. Um, which is Nowhere Road. Okay. And I'm going to play Nowhere Road next week because what I want to do next week, and if you're watching this on the recording, please tune in next week because we want to try and count how many alien film, alien in, invasion film references that we can take from that film because that film is brilliant because nearly every line is a reference to an, an, an existing alien invasion film. Is really clever, really clever. But um, basically, today we are going to have the um, the sci-fi um, film by Trace Winter, which is basically part of the Aperion 
um, group. Uh, I keep looking over here because that's where the film is being queued up. <laughs> Sorry, I do apologize. Um, so let's mute ourselves and watch the film. And this is this is a really, really clever, clever film. OK, make sure I'm sharing my sound. Are we ready? All right. So see you in four minutes and 13 seconds. Incoming message for you, Sonny. I'll read it after this news report. In our top news story today, Sonny Marcato has been released from prison at the ripe old age of 100. Marcato was notorious for various cybercrimes, including, of course, the World Bank robbery. That at today's valuations would make him the richest man in this or any other world. I don't mean to interrupt. Say yes to hear your message. Marcato. Marcato is also very well known for being the first person to serve his sentence from 2149 on the edge of the closest black hole to Earth. As most of you will be aware, time is essentially frozen on the edge of a black hole for the person stationed there, with the result that all of Marcato's relatives, accomplices, and law enforcement pursuers all passed away long ago. It also means that Marcato will arrive back on Earth from his Astro Shuttle as the oldest person on the planet, generations having passed since he last breathed Earth's processed air. I'll just hold the message for you. How about some mood lighting? I'll start a timer. With the advent of longer living, Marcato can expect another 50 years at least, and then may be allocated deep space stasis time, so his journey through our galaxy's history could continue for a good while yet. In other news, with the global population peaking at more than 20 billion, the recent crop shortage has had an unexpected effect on historically crop-derived goods. Barley, having long passed into folklore, has resulted in, among other products, whiskey, reaching valuations that are beyond comprehension. A bottle of prime single malt, now fetching more than $10 million. Might as well just read the message now. From Salt Mine Security Incorporated to Mr. S. Marcato. Your 100 stored casks of single malt whiskey are secured as per your instructions. To confirm, you have capacity for 200 bottles per cask. And in today's market, $200 billion in value. Welcome home, Sunny. I to say, great movie. I loved it. It was really good. It was it was really good because it was quite clever in in the fact that you know the, the protagonist in it didn't actually say anything. You know, he just walked around smug, and he was a criminal, and he came out on top. And yeah, it's uh, crazy. Anyway, um, we now have um, a, a visitor coming to join us. So. Um, We'll just let him in and we'll get him any minute now. Um, I have just realized, oh, hello, Mr. Greg, how are you? I've just realized that we were supposed to have Francis here today. Good morning. 
Good morning. How are you? <laughs> I, I, can I just put this on record uh, that this is uh, not in any way targeted any individual person at all, but I hate schools. <laughs> right, you Okay, so, so what schools you're saying is... Schools should you always be time. outside of town. <laughs> schools should always be somewhere outside of town. They should be in a field somewhere. <laughs> this is... It's outside of town. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't believe how much traffic there is out there. I, when I said five minutes, I was going past Gareth's house. Really? Yeah. <laughs> God, you live, you live a mile away from me. I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah, that was at the beginning of the show, 15 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, so don't apologize. Just to let you, just to fill you, I don't suppose you, you, you're, you're in any doubt, but um, uh, I was suit shopping. Yeah, so, I mean, what you've what do you got think? on isn't really suitable for a wedding unless it's in Liverpool. <laughs> some some oh, some sorry, scousers some scousers will be at our wedding. <laughs> yeah, well, you'll fit right in then, won't you? <laughs> yeah, probably, probably. Yeah. So, uh, have you uh, have you heard from uh, from our guests, or are we? Uh... We just wing no, it. I haven't actually. I'm, uh, I'm just checking my emails. Um, I'm pretty sure I would have. Friday perfect for me. Uh, I don't know if I, I'll, I'll reply. Oh, now. Um, well, I'll, I'll, uh, I can fill you in with some news if you like. Some news. Well, we've, we've, just, news. we've just done some news. Have you? What news have you done? We just, just... did some Ratma, Ratma news, as in oh, Ratma news. the website's open for. Um, of course, uh, for, for business, it's open for, yeah, open for business. And we, we're going to launch tomorrow. I'm going to put on the website the, um, the ability to enter the Name the Rat competition. Excellent. So that's right. going to happen between now and Christmas. So we're going to be naming the rat. And then in the new year, the rat will be able to have adventures and it will have a name. It will also have a vehicle and a hood ornament. <laughs> I have I have good news on the hood ornament. Oh, good! That, that will that will happen. Yeah. Um, anyway, but, what's your news? What's your news? Uh, uh, well, we're getting a hood ornament for Flixie. And <laughs> anyway, that no, it? that was no, that wasn't it. No, no. Uh, do you cast your mind back to uh, the lockdown cheer up festival that we had uh, way back in lockdown one? Hang on then. <laughs> In oh, lockdown, yeah, 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 I remember. Do you remember in lockdown one, we talked to uh, 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 our filmmaker friends from around the world and said, send us in your films that might cheer people up in lockdown. And we had an impromptu yeah. lockdown festival, yeah, yeah. Um, which was uh, won by a young local lad, uh, Luke Sorry, who sang. Um, That's right. Coming home. Let, from, let him is coming home. Yeah. Let, bring him home. Sorry, bring him home. I do apologize. Bring from him uh, home. from Lame is, yeah. yeah. Um, well, he has some good news because he's just been cast as the alternate Frankie Valley in the Jersey Boys stage production. So he's on the uh, on the stage singing now. I mean, it's all thanks to Ratma TV, obviously, because we Clearly. can we, we we can say we discovered him. Um, well, I discovered him one morning on Facebook. So. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, that's great news. That's sort of a, for him, he says it's a dream come true. So I'm really pleased for him. He's, uh, he looks the part. He's, uh, he looks absolutely wrapped and excited about it. Um, but then I've never seen Luke looking anything other than very excited. So it's hard to tell. He's always very happy by the look of it. Um, but then if you sing for a, you know, if you see a hobby becomes your, your, your career, that's got to be... It's got to be the it, hasn't it? You've you've hacked life, then, haven't you? Yeah, I suppose if you you know you're making money out of doing what you enjoy, mm. then why not? Exactly. Mm. So good luck, good luck to him. He's alternate Thank Frankie you. Valley in the uh, in the Jersey Boys. So tickets are available, I believe. So get on down there. The other news I've got about former winners um, from uh, Ratma TV is um, that. Uh, Dawn Westlake, uh, obviously still hawking her wares around the um, uh, the film festivals as she always does. You want to be, uh, careful, but it's how you, good... you want to be careful how you say that. <laughs> <She's>... Sorry, Dawn. <laughs> she, she, 
she's she's uh she she's you know pooling that was the uh, yeah. music video where the guy sort of dismembered it was Diamond. art actually it was ended as an art was it art yeah it was, it was great it was. whatever it was music and art. that uh, i think that won didn't it in the uh it did in, win that, the, that art, category, the art yeah, category that genre yeah. um that is still that still has legs it's uh it's actually just been um entered into a uh um and uh, what's it what was which one was it was it geneva it was a uh, it was it was somewhere it was a film festival um and I, i'm just trying to find it because i i made a note of it and then lost it um okay. but uh she that's still doing legs and also terroir terroir do you remember that was music but yeah it was um that was her and uh and as a little <clears throat> girl and the yeah. uh, poem yeah um yeah that's uh that's doing very well and has been uh, nominated for uh, has been uh, say selected for fi- as a finalist of um, another festival. I'm really sorry, Dawn, because both of those festivals have slipped my mind um, com- as to which one was related to which. But I know they're both still going strong, which is good. Um, it's just to go- it goes to show that uh, you know Ratmer's uh, um, you know just one of those stages for amateur filmmakers to. Uh, uh, to get their get their film seen, but uh, I think ours is unique in that we only accept films that are ten minute long or less. Yeah. So bear that in mind when you're sticking your entries in. Uh, that anything over ten minutes, if it's any good, and it's only just over ten minutes, we will send it back for editing. <laughs> if it's if it if you don't hear from us, that's probably just the the, the judgment. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only judgment you need isn't it? <laughs> actually actually when when they are excessively too long i do yeah. do email back saying i'm sorry it's too long yeah you will you hear have do you and have a, a shorter version so we, we don't are. actually uh not get back to people i, I we get never back to people ignore all people. the time but uh yeah if it's uh, we uh, we have had films sent back and returned with a 10 minute rap yeah. edit which is always really good i i, I find that really really touching Actually. The film, the film we're showing next week, which is Nowhere Road, uh-huh. yeah, oh, we, yeah, which, which basically I've said to everybody they've got to watch it and try and count as many of and uh, name yeah. as many of the uh, alien invasion film references too. Yeah, that that film was actually uh, about ten and a half minutes. That's so right, it was, yeah. I, I emailed them and they they then edited it down and then it, I think it's nine fifty six or something now. But it's worth it. I think it's quite yeah, often, well it's good film. quite quite often, if if uh, you know, if it's credits or something like that, they're e- they're easy enough to sort of chop off the credits and put them in the bump. Yeah, or speed <laughs> but, them up, or whatever. Or speed them up, or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I will also say, Marcus, on mm-hmm. that on that vein, um, that one one of the other things that we do ask people to do is that if you're if you're if your film is in a foreign language, then please provide English subtitles Subs, yeah. embedded into the video, not yeah. as a separate file. We can work with it as a separate file, but it's a lot more fiddly and it's easy for us, easier for us if it's actually it embedded up, into yeah. the video. Uh, the, so the, the English sort of subtitle version. Yeah. The English subtitles, yes. Because even though we are an international film festival, we are based in Great Britain or England, uh, to be more precise, and, um, and 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 essentially our our audience will speak English more than in anything else. So that's that is true, that's and um, and unlike every other nation on the planet that doesn't speak English, we only speak English, um, and uh, whereas every other planet on the uh, every other country on the planet also speaks English <laughs> just about I uh, I've just come back from Portugal and I was very grateful for the fact that uh, my Portuguese which is extraordinarily limited to buying tickets beers and saying hello um, was uh, was sub- subsidized by the brilliance of the Portuguese people being able to speak English I have to say <laughs> every time I, whenever I go to a country I always like to, to, to do my best I learn the basic phrases and stuff like that and I will take a little book with me to translate and stuff but the one country that, that it's pointless doing because it, because the, the people are so lovely and basically welcoming is Portugal 
And you lit you literally go in and you go, obrigada, and they go, hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Yeah, they they recognise you immediately <laughs> yeah. as being English for some reason. Right, right. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying I... to do Portuguese. <laughs> I don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah. Don't bother, mate. It's insulting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. First of all, you just said hello to me as as a, as a man, and I'm a woman. Uh, yeah. The most the most pointless phrase to learn in any language, I think, is uh, follow English. Eh? Parlez -vous, parlez -vous or something like yeah. that because because if they do just ask them do you speak english if they don't you're not wasting yeah, exactly. your time is. Exactly. <laughs> and you're not being clever That's it. by using their language to ask <laughs> them if they speak yours yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's uh, it's embarrassing isn't it, it's like, it, it is. <laughs> i'm sorry i'm completely hopeless please speak to me in my tongue it's like yeah. i do try i do try and when i go to uh, when i go to a foreign country i try to learn a useful phrase and, uh, and and in Greece, I have a great one, which is uh, um, um, which means, thank you, the food was lovely. This usually comes with a smile from the waiter and a free drink at the end of the meal, which is always good. Um, <laughs> did, but yes, but what about the time that you were you were? Was it Germany? Germany, uh, yeah, yeah. We, uh, we, <laughs> you kept telling. Yeah, I'll let you tell the story of what you were, what you thought you were saying and what you were actually saying. Okay, for all you uh, or for all you German speakers, you'll 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 think this is quite simple, and you'll understand my my problem. I I was I was working in Denmark as a farmer, and uh, I was travelling to uh, to France. Um, hitchhiking through Germany from Denmark uh, to meet a friend in Paris and uh, they, I went through Germany a very very uh, short lifts uh, because every time they asked me what I did for a living and I could get that in my pidgin German I did learn German at school but I got a word confused and I I uh, I'd said ich bin ein Baum meaning I'm a farmer, all right, it doesn't, and I found out two years later why I was getting such short lifts, it's because I met a German in Cambridge, and I said, uh, I know one bit of German, it's been I'm bound, he says, when are you ever going to need that, and I said, well, I used to be one, he goes, what, a tree? <laughs> I said, what? <laughs> and I'd been telling everybody that I was a tree, and that's what I did for a living, so I don't think my I don't think my German holds up, holds up to conversation. No, I don't think it does either. Um, do you know, I, I was doing the website uh, the other weekend and I was trawling through different films, taking screenshots and stuff. Yeah. Then I, I basically, I came across this and with, with talking about languages made me think, oh, right, yeah, this reminded me of it, yeah. But for, for everybody at home, take a look at us now, yeah. Um, because it, <laughs> you can wish, yeah, but I'll show you this very quick video, okay? So, are, are you all ready for this? Oh, god, ah, look at that, yeah, the Ratma Film Festival this year. Uh, we had uh, look at the hair, right? About 20 that different is, countries this year, it's Brilliant. a different and color, Gareth. Around <laughs> about two, was it? Um, it's so long. Films, 250 films from this is what 10 years this is what of. 10 years of running a film yeah, festival does to your hair color actually, right okay actually, so if you're watching this in antarctica okay, actually so, marcus right. this was five six years ago was it really <laughs> what, what are you doing well I, the words are coming on the and, and then we uh, tried to say them yeah La, like this, this is good yeah uh, so yeah so when did we talk deal yeah, you're more we'll, comfortable with. We'll start again. Right. right. Just rub that off there. Right. So, thank you. Shukran. Merci. Dakuya. Dankeschön. Tak. Diog. Es haristo. Toda. Shukraya. Grazie mille. Orgato. Sala matpo. Cien kuye. Obrigado. Hey, Portuguese. Uh, <laughs> gracias. Uh, Sorry, that's gracias. 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 Oh, gracias. gracias. Yeah. Gracias. Say, say. Te Teshek kuriderem. Danke, Welt. Thank you. Kvala. Spasibi. 
I thought that's what that's all we got. <laughs> one of us is really good at saying the, the 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 foreign words, and one of us is rubbish. And one of us, the one who's rubbish, no longer has long flowing ginger hair, but has gone rather bloody grey at the roots. Hey, mate, oh, mate. You, know, I've, you I've... haven't changed. No, I have though. Look. No, you haven't. Turn into oh, a silver really fox. Confused. I'm going a bit Philip Schofield, aren't I? In the hair department, I mean. <laughs> you, you're, a bit, you're a bit greyer, <laughs> but you're just as you, you, you're just as fat. Thanks, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I was thin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! I can't believe. How many years ago was that? That can't have been seven. I, I, Only I, six I, years ago. May two thousand five. Uh, 2015. Yeah, six. kidding. Six years ago. Six years ago, yeah. Yeah. Six and a half years ago. Six and a half, yeah. We don't forget the half. <laughs> yeah. It's that half a year. It's mm-hmm. just, an, I can't mm-hmm. believe. Oh, oh. <laughs> I know. Tell me about it. But I was looking and I thought, oh my God. I remember that doing videos in your kitchen. It's always very impressive. And I, I love the effects there from a. You know, Matt, uh, was that you editing that, or did you? Uh, did I, you... I did that. I did, did, did that though, very it? quickly because we just wanted to get it out. That's yeah, very good. No, I like the uh, the cleaning off of the board was very impressive. I was... I'm, I'm glad you remembered it. I did. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. 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 No, I'm glad you remembered <laughs> that. You didn't have to watch it again six years later to know that I did that. To check Karadaram. That's all I can say to you. <laughs> I don't know what that means. It means thank you. Weren't you listening? <laughs> so <laughs> they all mean thank you. <laughs> oh God! Shukran. Yeah. Obrigado. Well, I, 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 I Christ. Gracias. <laughs> I am rubbish. <laughs> and then if you notice the teacher in him, he said LJ. He still told me that I'd done it wrong and told me how to say it properly. I don't Would teach languages. I do not. Well, I teach language. I teach Greek and Latin mostly, but that's only because that's what maths entails. <laughs> so, you know, it's trigonometry and polygons and that sort of thing. You know. Yeah. I know. But yeah, it does It does help when you, uh, I think when you're abroad, at least to raise a smile on your host's face when you try and say, thanks for everything. It's been marvellous and, you know, Thanks for the hospitality. Do what? And that you're a tree. <laughs> and that I'm a tree. Yeah, that didn't help. Yeah. <laughs> Although I was, I, I was given a lift by a traffic cop um, near Hamburg, and uh, that was the longest lift I got. And I swear it's because he just wanted to keep an eye on me. He, uh, <laughs> he even <laughs> took me. He took me to his house, and we had tea with his mum. <laughs> And then he took me a bit further on. Wanted to keep an eye on you. I think, just, you wanted I, to I think yeah, you. he just, he just, I think he just wanted to make sure I wasn't completely insane. <laughs> but there you go. It's, uh, it, it, I, I don't really holiday very much in Germany. I tend to travel through it. And so, you know, I never learned any useful German in, uh, at school because uh lumpy isn't my dog and lee's lotter isn't my sister yeah and i've never had to li- visit a kranken house yeah. but um uh, you know <laughs> I, I i have the same thing with welsh because people say to me do i speak welsh and i don't speak a word of welsh at the end of the day uh, you know i come from a long line of non-welsh speaking people uh, family yeah. you know um it's that bad my mother can't pronounce the uh, name of the town i grew up in and i and i'm from bridgend <laughs> so uh, it's, it's that bad. But the, 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 the thing is, I, n- I never actually learned Welsh because I never thought it would come in handy when I was touring Europe. No. It's not one of those it's... languages, unless, unless I went to Patagonia <laughs> in Argentina. Yeah. I'm not going to use it. <laughs> That's true. That is, uh, no, it's yeah. true. There's, uh, there's, a few, uh, there's a few Welsh enclaves around the world, aren't there? But, there's uh, there's only them. Patagonia and Wales. Uh, but yes, going into a shop in France and saying "Borida" <laughs> won't get you anywhere. <laughs> well, wouldn't wouldn't you wet yourself if they just replied in Welsh, though? Hey, you say that Jim Jim Walker, who's been on the show, his wife speaks Welsh. Yeah, yeah. Well, there you go. She's someone Welsh, has to. Yeah. 
and it's 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 like no someone does have to it's the law in wales apparently yeah. <laughs> I, I think i think it, it's picking up a bit more in wales but at the end of it the is day. yeah i i they do uh, it's a language they use to talk in front of tourists i yes, noticed that's they right. talk, yes. talk to each other in english until a tourist turns up and they, mm. they switch quickly to uh, to Welsh. Yeah. we we know what you're doing yep. <laughs> yeah indeed yeah ne next time i go all the prices are going to be double aren't they i've upset the welsh again haven't i <laughs> <laughs> oh, here he is, look. Here he is, look. Here he is. Hey, here he is. <laughs> well, it wouldn't Did say you, it, innit? Yeah. Did, Did you? Yeah. yeah. Copy one from the Rathmer TV, innit? Well, I've hey. told you. I don't know if I told you my, my trip to Wales when it was raining and went into the... Uh, went into the pub and the darts hung in the air like they didn't even reach the dartboard. Everything just stopped dead as I walked through the door. Was it the slaughtered lamb? It was... Uh, no, yeah, it's very similar to the slaughtered lamb. You it made was, me miss. <laughs> Such a good film. Oh yeah, American Werewolf in London. Put it in the comments if you know. Oh, why did you keep it away? Sorry, spoiler alert. <clears throat> yeah. All right, uh, who's it starring? We're going to be talking to uh, the producer of her latest film very shortly. Anyway, the star what? of American Werewolf in London. The star of American Werewolf in London. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. She wasn't the star star. Of course she was. Well, I don't know who the other two guys were. <laughs> yeah, that is, that is a good question. More, I think there were more famous people in The Slaughtered Lamb. That's true. Yeah, than Brian, there was actually yeah, the Brian Glover was in there, wasn't he? Was it yeah. Brian Glover? Yeah. yeah. What a star and, that guy and is. The, you made me miss. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't missed that board in for thirty years. Well, but that was uh, that was a uh, a cracking film. That and I referenced it the other day when I was walking across the moors with a friend of mine huh? up to uh, Top Withen, and I said, "Stick to Puff Lud, go on, mm -hmm. don't, <laughs> don't go on to the moors, don't go on to the moors." <laughs> but that was uh, yeah, that's a good film. Anyway, uh, yeah, I went to the, the uh, I said. Um, I said, have you got any uh, any vacancies? Because it was pissing down outside and I was supposed to be camping. And I thought, I ain't camping. I'm going to get bed and breakfast. So I said, is there any vacancies? He goes, no. I said, oh, so there was a vacancy sign in the window. He goes, I forgot to turn it off. He said, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see you coming, I think is what he said. Um, <laughs> and he said, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it was, uh, he, he told me to go and stay at the Angel up the road. So I went to the Angel. It's a beautiful old coach house, massive car park, one car in it. All the lights were blazing. Walked up to the uh, bar and I said, have you got any rooms? He goes, oh, yes, old boy, I've got loads of them. <laughs> <laughs> and that was why. And that's what happens when you uh, open up a business in the Ronda Valley. <laughs> people, people don't like you. Anyway, there you go. That um, was a long time ago, and I'm sure the Welsh are a much friendlier bunch nowadays. They don't burn your houses like they used to. No. No. Um, David but... Norton was the uh, lead. That's that's right. Yeah. What was he also yeah. in? He's done quite a lot. Yeah, um, isn't he? And the other lead was uh, Griffin Dunn. Dun. Was he the dead guy? He was the dead guy. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, he was falling yeah. to bits in the uh, in the cinema where he was all his friends. Oh, always... I watched it in the cinema. It was brilliant. I'm going to go and I'm going to go and have to watch it again. Is it on Netflix? Someone tell yeah. us. Is it... um, yeah, I think I don't know. Somebody put it in the comments. I don't know. Uh. Yeah, well, there you go. Oh, dear. So, yeah, we've got lots to do. We've got lots coming up and lots on and everything. And uh, So, coming up places. in the next couple of weeks, we have what? special guests. Yeah, we will we'll start getting guests on to talk about filmmaking and, you know, the process. And we'll start getting on as many people as we can, really. We're going to have a, like you've already alluded to, an interview with them. Um, Emma Rogers, producer of, the producer of the uh, Railway Children, Emma Rogers. Um, and, uh, really looking forward to that. Yeah. Not only the producer of the Railway Children, but also the producer of A League of Gentlemen. Yeah. Which and and the ladies and gentlemen, who if you, I will try and stop him gushing too much. Ah. Uh, <laughs> God. She's like. Oh, a... It's amazing. This and the producers I've. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah. Emma. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I want the negative men. We don't use the F word. Um, right. Okay. So 
What else no, have we got then? What? We've got, we've got, uh, we've got. Uh, I bought a suit, by the way. Yeah, I, you're wearing it. Honestly, it looked like something out of Peaky Blinders. <laughs> I, uh, I, I'm going to go in there, going all right, Arthur. <laughs> I'm going to go up to everyone in the in the uh, in the reception. I go, no fighting, no fighting, no fighting, no fighting. <laughs> Peaky Blind, oh, Gareth, Gareth, have so, you watched Peaky yeah, Blind? Yes, yes. It's just I'm thinking, what kind of family are you inviting? <laughs> Mine. <laughs> <laughs> Christ Almighty, are you family? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now every, uh, you know, every wedding ends up in being a bit of a tinderbox, isn't it? A friend of mine got married. Uh, no, uh, no, no, <laughs> no. Not every wedding. <laughs> Some people are just nice to each friend, other. A friend, friend of mine went, went to a wedding in Bedford, which was half, it was a policeman marrying a gypsy. And honestly, honestly you, chaos. You, could, you could have, he said you could have cut the tension with a knife, even in the church. <laughs> It was like it was brewing the whole time. In fact, the police were called. <laughs> so there was uh, there were there were more police outside the venue than inside the venue at the end of the day. I bet it, I bet it, I bet it was staffed like a bloody football match. <laughs> it was. Yeah. Yeah. Bridal groom, bridal groom. Now you go down this way. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the, the ushers were wearing high vis <laughs> yeah. on horses. <laughs> Uh, brilliant fun! Yeah. I'm really looking forward to it now. But I'm, I'm, my, the wedding, I'm looking forward to it. So. You're looking forward to it. Are yeah. You? Now, now I've done the worst bit, which is buying the uh, going shopping. I hate shopping. I honestly, I and and I, I just I man shop. And when you're man shopping, you yeah. go in and you go out. You you see what you want for the right price, right color. Get in, get to till, buy it, come out. Yeah. I went man shopping. We got our suits, three suits. Shoes, shirts, everything, right? Texted my daughter with a photograph of us in the uh, in the jackets, going, eh, "Look at us!" Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was a mistake. She texted straight back saying, "Oh, you're all going in the same colour then." I went, "What? What? What do you mean?" <laughs> she said, "Well, I didn't want everyone in the same colour because I don't want you looking like ushers. I want you to sort of, you know, be yourself." <laughs> And I said, all right, boys, back to the drawing board. <laughs> I don't mean to be funny, but it's a suit. So it's either blue, black, or brown. It was grey, actually. But... Oh, grey, then. But it was grey with, with stripes in it. it. It was a tweedy kind of thing, you know. All right. And a three-piece, obviously. See, what you, the mistake you made was you brought... A woman in a man I know. shopping experience. Well, the look on the boys' faces when she said that. I mean, she FaceTimed us and said, "Are you still there?" And I said, "Yeah." She said, "She said, I didn't want you looking like that." And I said, "Right, fair enough." Um, <laughs> what did you? I missed the brief. Right, I just said, "Go buy suits." I thought yeah. it wouldn't it be nice if we all sort <laughs> yeah. of wore this. Anyway, uh, no, it's not my wedding. But the boy, look on the boy's face. The look of relief that they didn't have to look like their dad. I was think it was a bit <laughs> gutting, a bit gutting. Anyway, Bruce has bought a. Uh, there is no way on this God's earth that an individual Bruce would ever look like you. No, that's true. <laughs> I, I said to them, we lost him at one point around the shop, <laughs> and I said there was a woman helping us because I think she could uh, she could see the till rolling over, and uh, she she said. Um, he said, uh, you said there were three of you. I said, yeah, I've lost, I've lost my son. I don't know where he is. He looks a bit like a marauding Scotsman. He goes, oh, he's over there. <laughs> he's just a head of ginger hair. The whole ginger caboodle. <laughs> Both long, long, long ginger hair, long ginger beard. And he was, uh, he was buying a tartan suit. So, who you knows? Yeah. Looks like so, Jesus. He looked ginger yeah. Jesus, yeah. Ginger Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they called him at college, isn't it? Everyone at college. <laughs> All the students go, oh, oh yeah, your oh yeah, your ginger Jesus is dead. I said, yeah, that makes me God. Sit down, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> ginger God, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, it, it is quite the question, really, because you know neither you or, or Marion are ginger, so there must. Yeah, be... but my best friend's ginger, <laughs> and. Uh, and... <laughs> And, but there must be there must be somewhere in the family that gene is is in there. I have a ginger beard. 
How do you? Uh, which is why I don't grow a beard. Uh, so yeah, we are. I mean, we're 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 Celtic. We're Scottish and Irish. Uh, right, there's a bit. Okay. There's a bit. I'm two quarters Irish. Okay, right. Um, so that's where it. So it is ancestral because they say yeah, yeah. the ginger gene is recessive. Is recessive, and and it, it, it'll really mess up your kids. Yeah, and you'll be like, what? Yeah, it wasn't so much. It wasn't so much his ginger beard as his dark complexion that threw me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Apparently, Marion said some of her family are from Africa. <laughs> uh. <laughs> no, that was uh, that was. It, it, no, it, I think there is a recessive. Well, I know there is a. My grandfather was full ginger. I've got a ginger beard. But Dad's got a ginger beard, uh, and um, I. But but like you say, it's recessive. It needs to meet another ginger yeah. ginger gene. Yeah. And uh, Marion's uh, grandfather was ginger, so well he had yeah. ginger hair, reddish hair. So yeah, um, so, so yeah, it just came to came to fruition that he had it on the top of his head as well. See, because one day the gingers are going to inherit the earth. I tell you. There's a lot yeah. of uh, there's a lot of ginger uh, gingers in Eastern Europe. I've noticed. There's a. There's a they're everywhere. We're everywhere. Yeah, yeah no, no, there's probably you. more. Yeah. One it's of those sneaky the... little genes. <laughs> it's yeah. just there, it's taking over globally. The Chinese well, it, think they're doing well, it, but it's the ginger gene. That's yeah, but what it. you what what you said earlier, I think it was they were go, there was they will never have equality, will they? They'll what, always ginger? yeah, because they were they were going to march apparently for ginger equality. Yeah, the sun the sun came out and they couldn't. <laughs> Yeah, stay one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. uh, Foiled yeah. by the big orb in the sky. Yeah, but I've got ginger and I can go out in the day. Yeah, that's a day walker. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. You know, we you can know, say this because we're ginger. So. You know, do, do you know that um, basically the ginger people have their own anthem? Do they? Yeah, it was. Uh, it was in the nineties. It was written. Um, and it goes, um, remember me and the one who love you, baby's eye. Ging, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that's my new meme. ringtone. That's my that's meme. My, that's my new ringtone just there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think I have to sample that. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, you're mad. And LJ, how are you? <laughs> oh, can I tell you, Ginger you? LJ? No, no. I'm uh, you, you lie. You lie. Take the hat off. Jeez, she's, that's not blonde. That's ginger. That's strawberry not, blonde. That's strawberry blonde. That's a strawberry blonde. Is it blonde? <laughs> I'll, I'll show you a picture that I actually am blonde. I'm pure blonde. We need a picture. We can see you. Yes, you've got a you've you've got a picture. It's in the. <laughs> Yeah. It's on the screen now. Yeah, people, if you uh, if you want to comment on that, I wouldn't bother because because it's LJ reading the comments. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, dear. But there you go. Oh, what I was going to say. Uh, um, the, I took Flixie for a spin the oh, yeah. other day uh, because um, we we had a bit of a bit of an issue with leaving the lights on when we were in the uh, uh, shopping centre. I took her to the shopping centre. And left the interior lights on when we got there in the morning. Couldn't even unlock it because the central locking didn't even work. And there's a big glass screen on it, and you can't actually reach around and unlock it. So we had to get borrow a broom handled one. Anyway, a long story short, uh, LJ brought a charger, and we trickle charged it all day. And uh, it just about started, didn't it? Right, it was right at the uh, the end of the day. It just about started. So uh, I thought, right, I'll take her for a spin. And I went, uh, I went to work in Halifax and came back about half past nine at night and parked it up in where I normally park it. But um, when I went back in the morning, I thought I'd give it another run in the morning. And uh, it didn't start. It went, and I went, oh, that doesn't sound good. And uh, I'd accidentally potatoed my own exhaust. I'd backed into a compost bag. Oh, no <laughs> <And> then... way. <laughs> 
<laughs> Will you start treating Flixie a bit better? <laughs> It was because it was so dark when I got back. I didn't have a, actually notice. I'd inserted the uh, the exhaust directly into a bag of dirt, and so there was a plug of that much dirt up the exhaust, plugged into this bag. And of course, she's she weighs about two and a half ton, so there's yeah. no way I was going to push her. There's a slight incline where she's parked. There was no way I was going to push her out of the bag. So I had to come back the next day with a tow rope to tow her off the bag and clean her exhaust out to take her for another spin. But she's all right. She's fine. All right, then. I looked all right. after, and in fact, I took her to a hand wash on Halifax Road. Lovely place. Can't remember the name of it, but go there. Uh, recommend it. Um, and the guy at the end, when I wound the wind down to pay, he says, it's been an ambition of mine to wash one of these. Thank you very much. Stuck his hand through it. Give me a handshake. I thought, there are some people with very small ambitions in life, but I'm glad I could help. <laughs> you just said, can I have it for free then? <laughs> yeah, I'll go and recommend. I'll, I'll, I'll get some sponsorship from him on the back. But yeah, it was nice, it was nice of him to, to say. But uh, yeah, it's a cool she is a car. beautiful car. She really is. Really is a lovely little car. Uh, our very own Flixie. Part of the Ratmer family now. Yeah, right. Totally. Okay. <clears throat> and and, uh, and by the way, the rat is a pride of place on the dashboard right now. Well, you've you've done it. it well, no, on the dashboard, the the old uh, the 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 oh, crocheted the version. Crocheted of rat. rat, right? Yeah, because we because I've told everybody we're going to get a hood on them at right? Yeah, Bruce once is going to Bruce is going to print that once I, once LJ gives him the design, the two D design. He'll turn it into a three D design and and three D print it. Right. Don't look at me like that, LJ. I can see your eyes rolling. What yeah. do you think was going to happen? It'll have to be on its haunches. On its haunches. I say with, with a with a globe, with a globe or with a reel. Half a globe, I would go. Uh, a I'd globe go or a reel. A globe. Yeah, yeah, or maybe just the top fifth of the globe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then the rat on top. What about what about a, a film reel? Um, you could put the film reel in front of it, but you know, I wouldn't on I top of the earth. Well, I would, yeah, so the rat would be hemisphere the film reel. Got, I, would, I wouldn't fancy anybody's chances if they got hit by the taxi, though. Know? Hey, look, it's, it's three tons of steel, it's gonna take it's not gonna take prisoners whether they've got a, a rat embedded <laughs> in their forehead or not. <laughs> to be fair, <laughs> I think it'll be, <laughs> it'll be the least of their worries. <laughs> But it'll be made in plastic uh, so that it can uh, shatter in such an occasion. So. Okay, that's really health and safety minded of you. Yeah, that's, that um, was my that was my thought, and also not in, not in not in sharpened brass then. No, no, I went, I went, no, I was thinking of doing it in uh, in resin, but that would be quite hard. Yeah, um, and I was just thinking, no, actually, the uh, the three D printer uh, can print in all sorts of plastic, including plastic that'll disintegrate on impact, which is okay. So that's what we're going to use. But we're going to have to make it so we can take it on and off. Oh, yeah. People oh, yeah. Can't nick it. Uh, that's uh, no problem. That's my it, department. It'll become a it'll become a uh, collectible. Yeah. 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 So. It, <laughs> like, anyway, like the VW up? badges. <laughs> <laughs> Won't be as good as the VW badges and the Beastie Boys, will it? No, but still. Um, should we wrap up? Yes. Right. Okay. So next week we'll try and get some guests. Um, I'll try and get Francis on. Um, if if Francis makes it, I think I'm going to retire. I think we've tried to get him on. He's a, he's a busy man, isn't he? He's a busy man. He Hard to nail man. down. I think this week is my fault though, because I didn't send him the link. Ah, uh, did you? Uh, yeah. Fair enough. Because um, I'm also a busy man. Um, <laughs> but yeah, well, next week we'll be showing the Road to Nowhere film. So bring a notepad and pen so you can note all the references. Okay. Brilliant idea. What are we planned this week then? Mm -hmm. We're not what? playing one this week. Not we doing one. This. We've already played it, Marcus. Did That's I miss why it? I enabled a waiting room so that you couldn't come crashing in halfway through the film. What? <laughs> what was it? It was uh, Trace watch it. Winter. Yeah. The the right. Oh. Yes, go on. The 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 right the. The vintage. The vintage. Oh, <laughs> so, so I'm, I'm really sorry. Sorry. That is, yeah. I tell you what, that, that is, is, a, that is a great film. film. I love that. And it needs to be a feature film. And I said this on the night. It needs to be yeah. a feature film. I, I just love the whole premise. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It's a clever little idea that, you know, I, I thought it was quite clever because the bad guy actually came out of being in prison 
better off than well everybody people. should to be honest everyone should leave prison better off than when they went in yeah not richer no not richer not really <laughs> not, 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 not like <laughs> megalomaniac richer no. not, 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 not Bill Gates wants to blimmin' well trash the world richer no, that would be that would be uh, yeah probably a bit yeah. risky it would be yeah. a bit risky <laughs> gosh Right. Sitting on your investments. No, yeah. but fair enough. Anyway, that makes me want to go and want a whiskey now. And it is Friday, so I think I might get one. Bit early. Uh, maybe what, Friday? Not. Friday's five, not too early. It's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> five o'clock somewhere. Yeah, Friday's not too early. It's, it's like the last day of the week, isn't it? So, right. it's, so, it's late, in my view. Say goodbye, LJ. Say goodbye, LJ. Bye. Say goodbye, Marcus. <laughs> Bye. Bye, everybody. Say goodbye, Gareth. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Who's this? Who's this? See, now, I, I had that. Oh, I tell you. Ready? Bye. Yeah. yeah.